Alright, so I just want to start off by saying first things first, I know this video is random as hell, but if you follow my Instagram or my Facebook or whatever, then you know that I always have something to bitch about. Um, so if you came from my Instagram, you know, you know exactly what you're going to hear. <laughs> um, but if you're just scrolling through YouTube and you just randomly find this, stay tuned. We got a lot of shit to say. Well, this has been something that's been on my mind for a long time. Um, and I've never really pointed it out or said anything about it. Just because it's going to happen regardless. I mean, no matter what, shit isn't going to change. But at this point, I just figured, fuck it. Might as well just bitch about something else. Because I'm always complaining about something. Always have something to say. <clears throat> so, one thing that really bothers me a lot is the fact that because of my age, people either tend to judge or just misunderstand anything I say. Or just throw it out the window completely just because I'm young. So, as of today, today is December 22nd, 2017. So, as of today, I am 19 years old. 19. And I understand that it's pretty goddamn young for somebody to just spewing a bunch of, for somebody to be spewing a bunch of information, period. That, that I know. And you don't really see much of that nowadays. <clears throat> but for me, I've been in the fitness industry for about, give or take, over a year. Um, not necessarily on social media, but just surrounded by the whole aspect of fitness because of gyms, GNC, you know, just places where I work, right? So I've done a lot of research, I've studied a lot, and not necessarily with school, but just things in general. And I would like to say that I pretty much kind of know what I'm talking about when it comes to a lot of subjects involving fitness, whether it's diet, nutrition, training, even, even the taboo subject like steroids. Um, all right, truth be told, I do not know everything about it, right? I know a good amount to basically to just know what the hell I'm doing and to help somebody who's new as far as like an advanced level to help somebody who's been training for, for years and years on end. Then obviously, no. Um, at that point, not. Nah. <laughs> so... I mean, truth be told, I could give a fuck what somebody thinks about me. I really don't care. But at the same time, for example, when I'm at work in, this, in, in GNC, if somebody asks me for genuine advice, and I'm not the kind of employee who just sells you shit just to make some money. I'm not, that's, that's honestly not me, right? I'm not saying that other people are, but me personally, no. I genuinely sell shit that works for the for the person that I'm giving it to. So if I'm giving you advice, then fucking take it. If I'm taking time out of my day, <clears throat> then I'm not gonna waste my breath on you and tell you complete bullshit. I'm gonna tell you what works. I'm gonna tell you general statements because if it's some random customer in the store, then I'm not gonna know very specific details about them. How often they train, what they train, how they train, um, what they eat, what they do for work, like very specific things that you need to know. I just simply don't know because I never met the person, obviously. So I give them a very general basis, five, six meals a day, two to three hours, eat less, move more, exercise more, and you lose fat. Simple, very general. So when I recommend certain things, <clears throat> and it's very, it's very basic, a multivitamin, vitamin D, a protein, and your omegas. Omega-3, omega-6. Very important. If I recommend that and then you end up telling me, oh, my boy told me this is good. Or I don't want to take this because of X, Y, and Z. Some random ass reason. Then what the fuck did I just say all this shit for? Why did you ask me for advice if you're not going to take it? That's really one thing that pisses me off. So, and especially it pisses me off even more when they know my age and just simply 
throw all my information out the window just because I'm young. But truth be told, when it comes to progress, people think that just because somebody's older means that they have more experience with a certain thing. It's very true in many aspects, but there are a bunch of exceptions. For example, training, working out, lifting, right? <clears throat> so I have been working out since I was 15 years old. Um, so at this point, over four years. So <clears throat> I know what I'm doing in terms of training. As far as what I know works for me, I still have yet to figure that out. I know a lot of things that work for me, but I still have yet to figure out everything. It takes a long time to develop that kind of information for yourself because everybody is different in their own ways. So if you take my information, throw it out the window and ask the next guy because he's 10 years older than me, but he's only been working out for like a year and you ask him for, it, for information, then, then what the fuck, like what kind of use is that going to do for the person? Um, what else? <laughs> or even or even the guys who've been working out for a long time but still don't know what the fuck they're doing because they're still following the same shit that they've been doing that hasn't been working but it works for them you know big emphasis on the quotations it works for them just because they've been doing it for a long time and not to not to brag about myself or whatever but I've made more pro like in my gym I'm not trying to throw shade at anybody, but in my gym, in my home gym, I've made more progress in six months than these guys have in the two years that I've been training there. So, and they're all older than me. I'm like one of the youngest guys training there. So you tell me whose advice you're gonna follow. The guy who's made more progress, who's been training more, or the guy who hasn't made progress at all. And all he does is ego lift and all that bullshit. But, at this point, um, I'm done bitching. <laughs> so, the takeaway message from this video is don't look at little things like age. Just, if someone's giving you genuine advice, take it. What's, what's the worst that's going to happen? You're not going to make progress? All right. You live and you learn. It is what it is. All right.